The Spinosaurus is undoubtedly one of the most iconic creatures of all time. It was said to be one of the largest land predators to have ever existed. Its unique bones and structure make this beast a very mysterious creature. It all started in 1912, when the first bones were discovered. A German scientist by the name of Ernst Stromer in 1915 translated the bones for public use. Then the bones moved to Munich, Germany, so the public could see them. In 1930, Stromer found some new fragments that depicted the spinal skull and body to be similar to that of other theropods like the Carcodontosaurus, but it kept its large, iconic spine. Fast forward a couple decades, and the remains were destroyed in World War II when the Allies bombed the building. No major developments or discoveries happened until the 1990s when the crocodilian-like snout was discovered alongside other bones and fragments that depicted the Spinosaurus was a very large theropod. New vertebrae and other fragments discovered by Dale Russell in 1996 and a partial snout depicted by Russell and Torquette developed a more realistic foundation of the spined lizard. Because of the baryonyx discovery in 1983, paleontologists thought similar attributes might apply to the Spinosaurus. During the late 90s and early 2000s, the spino was predicted to have a large cell, strong, sturdy legs like other theropods, and decent-sized arms with sharp claws, similar to that of the spino in Jurassic Park 3. Since the creation of the spino in JP3, it has gained in popularity ever since. The thought of Spinosaurus spending lots of time in water was due to its crocodilian-like snout and its large, usable arms. From the 90s to 2014, the Spinosaurus was thought to be built like other theropods with a large sail. Then, a series of paleontologists including Nazir Ibrahim predicted the Spino to be quadrupedal, meaning that it moved in all four limbs. This was thought because recent discoveries depicted the Spino to have relatively short legs and a center of gravity pushed more towards the front. However, there was a problem with the reconstruction. It was said that the bones and fragments tested were made up of multiple Spinosauruses and not just one individual. However, recent depictions of the Baryonyx show that it was more theropod-like in nature, which made paleontologists question the Spino's quadrupedal form. After running computer simulations and finding more Spino fragments, scientists now say that the Spino would be mainly bipedal. If the Spino was quadrupedal for long periods of time, it would likely break its own arms. Also, computer simulations show that the center of gravity was pushed back a little bit further than previously thought. This brought up the question, was the Spinosaurus a good swimmer? In 2020, discoveries were made on the tailbone of the Spinosaurus. Because of this, it was said that the Spino would be an alright swimmer. It would most likely stay near riverbanks and probably avoided deep bodies of water. So hey, if you enjoyed this content, feel free to check out any of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and comment on any future videos you'd like to see. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, and have a nice day.